you want a great value for money PC, you want some home PC, but you don't want to spend a lot of money. You want a good, cheap, yet the best PC you could ever get under 20,000. You're in the right place. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to this video, people. I'm Stryka here from STBIST, and let's get started. <laughs> And guys, make sure that this is only hardware that includes monitor, keyboard, mouse, and your PC and your CPU. It does not include software because buying software online is really expensive. So let's go on to the parts of the video. So let's talk about the monitor for the starting. It's an AOC 18.5 inch monitor. It's a good monitor and the reviews were fine. It looks stylish, but it's not really, really attractive. It's a monitor LCD, no issues there. It has a 5 millisecond response rate. It is recommended for Windows 8 and you get 1366 by 768 pixels. That's the resolu resolution of this and it's a good monitor. It's LED backlit. So for the keyboard, we're going out keyboard and mouse combo. We're going out with the eyeball superior keyboard and mouse combo. It's 700 on Snapdeal. Of course, links of each and every part will be provided down below. And for the PSU come case, we're going with Zebronix. Some name, I don't know about it. It feels good. It has a 450 watt power supply included. And you get some basic ports, basic functionality. It's a micro ADX form factor. It's good. Uh, pretty basic. Nothing really special about this. And for the motherboard, here what I chose was AMD. And if you like this video a lot, then I'll make another video with Intel build. So here it's AMD motherboard Asus A58K FM2 Plus socket motherboard. So why I spent a lot of money on the motherboard? Because I had to distribute the money in a nice manner so that it'll be useful for future purpose. So with this motherboard you can expect expand it all the way up to 32 gigabytes of RAM. So it is good and FM2 Plus you can have quad core processors and FM2 Plus socket. So that's also a good expect in future purpose. That's what I can say so I went out, went out with this motherboard. It was a good one. And here I went with the AMD A6 6400K 4.1 gigahertz processor. So this is an APU. So that's kind of combination of processor and GPU. So it does a dual job of the graphics and processor. So you don't have to buy another graphics card. That's what my personal opinion was. Of course, you can go with the Athlon processors. They're also good. But this is fantastic in performance. That's why I went out with this. It's dual core. We are not building a gaming PC either, but it does a good job. And with RAM, I went out with the Kingston Fury 4GB module, 1866 megahertz RAM, and it's a nice one. Hard disk, mm, kind of compromise because budget, budget. It's a 320GB Seagate 7200RPM hard drive. As, as far as my perspective, my views exist, home users do not need 500GB, 1TB of storage. They need something which does the job and 7200RPM is enough for good speeds and storing the data and reviews are fine as well. So no issues there and these are the components. I've done the whole sum with the help of my calculator. There might be something around 1997 90, 90, something. The total. And software, don't worry, get it to your mechanic. He'll give you a new Windows for as cheap as 500 rupees. So that's what my builders don't get cheated by mechanics. You can't put your whole money, whole trust on a single mechanic. You can trust this video for sure. And if you don't believe me, you could ask a techie about the specifications. They are good. I like them a lot. And I'm planning to buy this. I'm planning. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace out. Yeah.